All right, here's some more scripts I wrote for my mom to rotate images and also resize images to different resolutions. And uh, she used to use uh, GNOME 2, and you know they have Nautilus by default. And Nautilus, the file manager, it had this uh, plugin called Image Converter, and that's what she's used to. And now that I switch her over to XFCE, she's like, where the fuck is that feature that I always use? And she's always complaining about it. So I wrote her uh, these scripts here to do um, you know, that, but uh, it doesn't have everything that uh, the original script does uh, in Nautilus. But um, the stuff that she does is pretty simple, so I wrote her the Xenity script here. Anyways, let me demonstrate it out. If uh, you guys want to use it also, this is how you would do it here. Let's demonstrate out here. So we got a bunch of pictures. And if you want to resize all of them at the same time, all you do is highlight everything. Or even partials if you want. All right, it doesn't matter. Let's say we highlight all this. And you right click and then you do um, resize image here. And by default is uh, selected at what is it, 1024 times 768. That's, I think, the, the resolution that my mom uses by default. So that's why I put that as the default. But you can always check like different ones if you want to use different resolutions. Um, it's up to you. Really not that hard. And after that, you say OK. And it will resize all the other ones to that resolution like this one here. Right, it will give you the resolution uh, inside the name, and also it says resized in, so on and so forth. Uh, so we can delete uh, these ones if we don't want to use it. So that's how you resize something, right? Now, if you want to rotate an image, you can do all of them at the same time if you want. But let's say, for example, we're just going to do one image only here. Um, so let's say we do rotate images here. If we want to rotate to 90 degrees, you just do 90 right there, right? If you want to rotate uh, 180, you can do 180, and it'll rotate it, so on and so forth. That's the script, really not that hard. Um, all you gotta do is, you know, download the scripts and go into your, what is that, custom actions here, and uh, create a new one. Let's say we call this one uh, My Resize or something. Right, and for the command, we're just gonna point to the scripts. I'll explain what the script is for people that want it to be more technical. But let's go into the scripts here, and I call this one Xanity Resizer, Image Resizer, whatever here. Right, so this is one that resizes the images, and you can give it an icon if you want. So uh, let's do images files here. I usually use dot logo in here oh no fuck the wrong one logo and this one is image resizer and that's the icon that I use right for my resize here now for um, for that was it the legends here one of these letters you want to use the uh, percent n by default it, it says uh, percent f at the end of your script that's not what you want you want to select multiple files so that's why you say selected files without paths. Um, so that's why you want to do a uh, percent and okay. And in the appearance and conditions here, um, you want to use images because that's all it, it applies to the, for the conditions. And you hit OK. And that's pretty much it for um, how you would set up your scripts to run a custom actions on Thunar here. But it can be similar to um, other file managers like um, Dolphin if you're on KDE, it can be PC Man FM, uh, even Nautilus, you can use this in Nautilus too if you want. You know, just apply it to your custom actions for your file manager that you want to use. Okay. And after that, look at this, you can just right click on it and you do uh, My Resize here or whatever and pick a uh, different resolution if you want and there you go, it resizes it, so on and so forth, right. Uh, and do that for the rotate also, same thing. But let me uh, well, let me explain the script here if you want to get in more detail. But that's it for people that just want to use it. They don't need to understand the script, right? Anyways, uh, to understand the script here, first we'll do the uh, image resizer here. We'll do that shit first. 
it's pretty simple. We're gonna, just gonna use um, Zenity. So you know you need Zenity. And since we're manipulating images, we're gonna use uh, Image Magic. Um, both of these should be in your repositories, right? So the first one here, we're using Zenity and we're doing a radio list. And that's why you have the little choices that we made when we're doing those um, different resolution, right? So we're doing a radio list and basically whatever they pick, like whatever resolution they pick, that is going to be in this variable and we're going to send that variable into our uh, image magic convert uh, command here and whatever that resolution that's what's going to be that's doing it so as far as our bash script here I, I use an array I don't think you need to use an array but I use an array because I was reusing my code that I had in my bash RC here and basically I put that array into a for loop and we're looping every um, images, okay? So every file that we have, where the hell is our files? So every file that we have, or every file that we selected, right, is gonna run that command uh, in this for loop until it ends. So let's say we convert, um, let's say the first image, resize it to whatever, you know, the, um, the resolution that we want. And this one's the output name. Uh, the output name, it's, pretty simple if you don't understand this let me give you an example let's say if your image was called I don't know snowball dot JPEG or something right the first part here this one is just gonna uh, strip out just the the base name so it's just a snowball only and this last part here this one is just gonna strip out the um, the extension so basically JPG or whatever other extension you have and in the middle here, this one here, this is our uh, our name to uh, you know tell us like what size that we used it, and also it will say resize it just because we want to differentiate the original from the resize. And basically, when you're doing this the whole thing, it will be like snowball. Um, what was that? The size. Let's say our size was this one here, right? And it will say the resize did dot uh, whatever the extension was so if this one was uh, a, a JPEG then it would take JPEG so basically this part is this part here uh, this part uh, right here is you know this part here and the JPEG part is this last part here um, hopefully you understood that if you want to get um, more technical that's how I will explain it anyways that's it for that uh, when you run the script here as far as the other one the rotate here uh, same thing except that I use the rotate command instead of the resize so this is the only thing I really changed it was the rotate and then uh, I changed the, some of the variable names like this one's called degrees because it's degrees and you change um, you know instead of, uh, instead of using resolution we're just using the 90, 180, uh, 270, so on and so forth. Now, if you want to put the ones by default that you want it to be checked in, you want to put it as true. So by default, 90 will be the default option, but you can use any other size that we want. Uh, it's not that you know hard. Uh, for example, the other one, whatever you use the other one. The other one, I put this one as true because like I said, my mom likes to use that resolution by default so I don't want to waste time to check out other resolution if she doesn't use those other ones often uh, so I put that as true right anyways that's explaining the script and uh, how you would uh, make it work with Thunar but you can use it with any other file manager I believe that has custom actions that's it for this one I'll post you uh, the scripts uh, in the description and also the images if you want to use the images that I used it when I was um, you know setting this up so I had like this I don't know this picture and this rotate blue icon or whatever I'll put that there too if you want anywho that's what I did for my mom and hopefully that is the end of it because I did uh, the one for YouTube last time and now this one for the images that's it for this one